Welcome to Prigium Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 5 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about transforming XML using XSLT and then binding that XML to a grid view control using XML data source control. In part 4 of the ASP.NET grid view tutorial, we discussed about binding an XML file to a grid view control using XML data source control. If you remember, the XML file was like this. It was using child XML elements. And then the XML data source control didn't work as expected when the XML file contained these child XML elements. So we had to manually rewrite that XML file to use attributes as you can see on the right hand side. Now, Rewriting large XML files manually is bad for two reasons. Number one, it is laborious, and two, it's error prone. Okay, don't you think it will be nice if we can apply XSLD style sheets and then automatically convert you know the data that is in this format which uses child XML nodes into an XML file which uses attributes? Okay, we'll 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 see the XSLD that can do that for us automatically. So this is the XSLT uh, file which can do the transformation for us. And if you look at this, it's pretty straightforward. So we are first matching countries, which is nothing but our root XML element. And then within that root XML element, we have got several country elements. Okay, so we need to loop through each country element and then retrieve you know, each XML node there and then convert that to an attribute so this ID, convert that to an attribute and then assign this as a text for or a value for that attribute. Okay, and if you look at this template here, you know, the second section here, that's what it's doing. So it's looking at the country and then we are using a for each loop. So for each country element, you know, within that country for each element, go ahead, retrieve its name and text. Okay, so very simple XSLD. Okay, now let's let's actually use this in an example. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I have this countries.xml in the data folder. Okay, and I want to display this data within this grid view control. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add an XSLT style sheet. So right click on the data folder, add new item, and click on the data tab in install templates, and then select XSLT file. And let's uh, change this name to countries xslt dot xslt xslt is the extension for xslt files click add that should add an xslt file so let's go ahead and copy the xslt into this file okay so we have an xml file and to transform that xml file we have this xslt file okay so now on this web form, I have a grid view control. So we want to use XML data source control and then display this country's XML file in that grid view control. So let's drag and drop the XML data source control onto the web form. Click on configure data source. So obviously we need to select the data file, which is nothing but our countries.xml file, which contains countries data. So countries.xml, select that. The next thing is we need to select our transformation file, which converts that XML file that has child element, you know, child XML nodes into attributes. So click on the browse button and click on the data tab. And look at this, when I select data tab, it's not showing this country's xslt.xslt file. That's because it is expecting a .xsl extension, but we have xslt extension. So for, for that to be displayed, select all files here. It will show the xslt file, select that, click OK. So we are done. So we are done configuring XML data source control. Now we need to associate this XML data source control with this grid view control. So click on that smart tag button, select XML data source one. And look at that, the moment I do that, I don't get an error now. The data is displayed as expected. And obviously when I'm going to run this, it's going to display the data on the web form. Okay, so that's another way of, uh, you know, using XML, uh, you know, displaying this XML data with child uh, nodes in a grid view control using that XML data source control. Now, if I don't want to use XML data source control and if I want to display, you know, this XML which has got this child um, XML nodes, then um, another option is to basically load this data into a data set and then bind the data set to the grid view control. 
okay so let's look at that so now I don't want to use this XML data source control so I'm gonna get rid of that actually let's get rid of this XML I mean grid view control as well uh, let's drag and drop another grid view control onto the web form so grid view control and then I want to bind this XML data uh, with that grid view control okay and I don't want to use an XSLT transformation uh, and if I have to do that obviously I have to write code for that so and to do that here I have you know four lines of code which can do that so we are creating an instance of the data set and then we are using data sets read XML method to read countries XML data and then we are setting the data set as the data source for the grid view control and invoking data bind pretty straightforward so let's run this project and as you might expect when the web form loads it's going to read that XML data load that into the grid view control as expected okay there we go on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day